in all of the Brilliant Stars hype, I feel like we haven't done some actual gameplay in a little while. So we're going to get back to it with a tournament winning single strike deck because uh, it's been a while. I want to play some single strike. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG. That was new. And what's new is this single strike list that uh, comes to us from Patricia Gonzalez Walsh, who won, I think it was last week's Excalibur tournament uh, on January 4th. I'm pretty sure if it's wrong, I'll, you know, fix it in the in the video description. And let's get right into it. This is a very different list than one, what you might be used to seeing, and two, what I'm used to playing. I do not use level balls. I use VIP battle pass. I have never used Pukamuku, uh, which we should take a look at since it's the newest thing on this list. Pitch a Pukamuku is the ability, and once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. Put him at the bottom of your deck, and if you do, you can draw a card. You can't use more than one Pitch a Pukamuku ability each turn, but you know you can use Genesect ability four times, and it's like. It's totally fine, even though you can draw like five, six cards and you can do that four times. It's, that's fine, but don't you dare draw into more than one Pukamuku and think that you can put it at the bottom of your deck to draw again. That's just, that is despicable. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're not attacking with it, obviously, because three energy for 50 damage is horrendous and we don't run any water energy, so couldn't make it happen even if we wanted to. Uh, it's never even going to hit our bench, so we don't really care about its retreat cost and its HP or attack, so none of that really matters. It's just going from the hand to the bottom of the deck to draw a card. Now, I am not 100% sold on this because the idea is you draw into it and you put it at the bottom of your deck to draw another card. And it's like, well, what if you didn't have this at all and now you just drew a good card that you needed to begin with instead of having this and, and hoping that like you draw into it at the right time or I mean I guess it's search I think that the key here is that it's searchable with level ball you could say I don't have Pukamuku in my hand uh, so I'm going to use a level ball because I have my hound doors and I'm just going to draw an extra card and I guess that's a decent plan but so let's take a look at the rest of the deck we kind of know at this point how single strike functions right we're going to use Hound Doom's Single Strike Roar ability, which lets us search our deck for any Single Strike energy and attach it to one of our Single Strike Pokemon. If we attach an energy using this ability, the Pokemon we attach the uh, energy to takes 20 damage. One of the more recently incorporated cards in the Single Strike is this Morpeko with the Explosive Discontent attack, which does 30 times the number of damage counters that it has on it. Well, if we use two Single Strike Roars onto this Pokemon, and it takes 40 damage as a result, it's doing 30 times four, which is 120. But oh wait, we have two single strike energies on it, which means we're actually doing 160 damage. And if you times that by two to hit a dark weak Pokemon like Mew, for example, you're now hitting 320, enough to KO a Mew VMAX, Shadow Rider VMAX, Dragapult VMAX, any dark weak Pokemon in the game and for a single prize so if it gets counter ko'd which it only has 10 hp so throwing down a zigzagoon would be enough to do it it's really not that big a deal because we're taking massive up trades with the single prize pokemon umbreon umbreon v has the mean look which normally i wouldn't mention but mean look can actually really save you you can boss up a genesect mean look stall for a turn you can hit into a meloetta a meloetta with uh, mean look with a single strike energy and KO it. There, there's quite a bit you could do with mean look and then obviously the real attack that we're going to be knocking things out with is Moonlight Blade which does 80 damage but if you have any damage counters on this Pokemon you do an additional 80 damage and getting those damage counters is super easy because well we put damage on ourselves with single strike force so we're hitting really good damage 160 plus whatever single strike energies Enough to knock out Mew VMAXs again, giving us those up trades. Umbreon VMAX is, I mean, it has the same exact attack. We don't have to have damage counters on it, but by the time we get the VMAX out, we probably will have some type of damage, even if it's just our own single strike roar damage. But what it brings to the table is the Dark Signal ability, which when we play this card from our hand to evolve one of our Pokemon, we can 
bring one of our Pokemon, uh, opponent's Pokemon from the bench to the active spot. It acts as a boss's orders. Except you can't use it on Pokemon that have Fusion Strike energy attached. So if you have three prizes left and your opponent has a benched Mew VMAX, you can't Dark Signal it up if it has a Fusion Strike energy. You would have to get rid of that Fusion Strike with like Hammer, or Phantom Waves, or a uh, Flannery, some, some way, which this deck does not run, to get rid of that energy. And then you could go ahead and actually um, Dark Signal and take the knockout. But... You know, maybe Single Strike will get there. The Single Strike Urshifu V is, I mean, it's a, a really strong attacker with 180 base damage. And then with some Single Strike energies, you are easily hitting for 220, sometimes even 240, enough to knock out any V that is going to come across your way. You're also able to take really big knockouts on things like Jolteon V Max and Eternatus V Max with just Impact Blow. And then, of course, the single strike Urshifu V Max is great for wall breaking, taking one shots on V Maxes that you're that are not weak to dark or fighting. It's great for taking knockouts on things like Duraludon V Max because it has uh, a wall like ability. It's great for using beatdown on single prize Pokemon and things like Crobats to kind of even out the prize race so that all you have to do next turn is G Max one blow, say uh, a V Max, and that's game. And that's a really good way to use single strike urshifu so that's but we only have one which does scare me a little bit but you know obviously this deck was able to win a tournament so uh it has to be somewhat okay the rest of our deck is going to be really similar to every other single strike deck four evolution incense three level balls uh four quick balls to help find pokemon that we need a couple of switches so we can move pokemon around four urns because as our pokemon get knocked out uh, things like hammers, whatever, those single strike energies are going to go into the discard pile and we need to get them back so we can continue to make our attacks and Earn of Vitality lets us put single strike energies from the deck, from the discard pile into the deck and then there we go. We can start using single strike roar again and that's our loop. Tower of Darkness, discard a single strike card from our hand, draw two and then boss, Marnie, research all draw supporters. What I really like is the addition of a single Pierce. Pierce is a really nice supporter because it lets you search your deck for an energy card, any energy you want, and a dark type Pokemon, any dark type you want. And then you put them into your hand. The reason why this is so good is because it lets you find, I uh, say, a Houndoom and energy, and now you're able to attack. If you have just one energy in play, Houndoom and an energy, now you can go ahead and attack because you can single strike roar. You can find a capture energy, you can find a single strike energy. I do have a list. Uh, that uses peers for when Brilliant Stars comes out. And if you want to check out that uh, list, you can go to my Twitter. But yeah, that's this is pretty much the deck. Air Balloon, Air ja uh, Tool Jammer, uh, Single Strike Energies, Capture Energies. It's pretty standard. So let's get into some games and see how this deck functions. Going into the first game. And if you want to help out the channel, you can absolutely subscribe, like, leave a comment, all those things. They tell YouTube that this is a good video and other people should watch it. When we get to 8,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a really cool giveaway, giving uh, some vintage first edition stuff. And let's uh, we'll talk about that as we get a little closer to 1,000 subs. Uh, we're probably playing Mew, right? They have the Mew deck box. And there's the Genesect. So, yes, this is, in fact, a Mew. They don't have the... Okay, never mind. They have the Mew. Um, did you have to waste the Fog Crystal to get there, though? Which is kind of nice because that's one less energy they can search out. Do they have the energy? Of course they do. And there's the Air Balloon, so they get the free retreat. Switching Cups uh, is a new addition to Mew decks. So it's kind of annoying. It, but then yeah, now they can find a Meloetta. And now they just fusion... Oh, they're going to get another Mew. Interesting. Uh, now they just fusion strike system for uh, three more cards, potentially play a couple more, and then fusion strike system again, because that's what this deck does. They did go ahead and throw their two air balloons down, so that means if I throw a tool jammer, they can no longer use their air balloons. This is one of those reasons why I like tool scrapper a little bit better than tool jammer, because if they do have a tool scrapper, there's kind of nothing I can do about it. So... We, unfortunately, are going to have to get rid of one of our urns here. I don't like to do it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get an Umbreon. We need something. Uh, we can, at the very least, mean look. 
for a hundred. Hound door is great. We can level ball for a more Peko in case they want to do the prize trade thing. Um, and I'm okay there. I actually think we're okay. And I'm just going to hit with... You know what? No, I'm not okay there. We're going to throw that down. And we are going to mean look them for 100 damage. Now, they can't retreat. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, we can, again, try to mean look stall the Genesect, even if they do have the air balloons attached, that they would need an actual switch card. So they're committing to the Mew VMAX. They have the power tablet. Uh, they might just go like... What is it? Psychic Leap? Psychic Leap is something they can do. They're really dumping their hand kind of early. Three power tablets. I mean, 210 would be enough to take the damn, like the KO anyway. So I'm surprised that they're throwing so many power tablets so quickly. Uh, they must have a sparkle in their hand. Or they're going to really dig for one. They have three, they have two Genesects. So the chances of them finding one are pretty good. And at least a sparkle. They'll take two prizes. They're going to thin out before they use their next Genesect. Yep. Do they find... Oh, they, of course they have their third Genesect. They're going to thin out the hand. I wonder if they're going to get anything they're not. They are digging very hard for that Elisa Sparkle. And there it is, naturally. Mew never misses. That's the lesson to be learned. Mew never misses. So, they're going to take the KO on, on this very easily I actually don't think we go more Peko because they burned all of their power they burned three of their power tablets which means the most they could do is 240 to us we're not going to use the ability we'll attach an energy Um, sure. We'll get rid of that other capture. We're gonna thin. We're gonna draw with Crobat first before we Marnie. We want to really try to increase our chances of finding a Hound Doom. There's one. So we'll go ahead and. So even after this morning, as long as we hit one more Hound Doom, we're okay. And we do. Very nice. We'll throw a tool jammer on there. And we did prize one of our single strike energies, and unfortunately we did have to. So we have 250 health, so the Vitality Band won't save them. I, I, I don't I don't like this. We're not in a great spot, unfortunately. The Tool Jammer will help because they can't send up one of their Genesects to get free retreat. And they will be shy. They have to have the Power Tablet and the Energy in order to... And the Tool Scrapper. Power Tablet or and Power Tablet, Energy... And tool scrapper in order to get the knockout on this Umbreon. So could they do it? Absolutely. I mean it's Mew, so <laughs> I would be surprised almost if they didn't do it. There's the energy attachment for the turn. They'll probably I mean they would want to attack. They can't Sparkle anymore, right? Because they have a Fusion Strike Energy in the discard. So Sparkle is no longer... They're not able to use it. And then they're going to boss. Boss my Crobat, which makes perfect sense. And just KO it. 
Oh, man. Sure, of course they get the boss. And of course they flip the heads. Why, why not? Let's just make it easier. Yeah, give them everything. They will not be able to power up this... Uh, this Meloetta, though. But they'll only have two prizes left. So... And I don't have the single strike energies to hit one more Peko. So they do hit with cross fusion strike. So let's see where this goes. Uh, I'm feeling pretty unsure. We'll send up Umbreon because if I get an urn, I can discard the single strike energies. We'll go here. Um, I think we have the Marnie. Got a Marnie. We do have an urn. Which means... We'll do this. I thought I clicked the wrong thing for a second. Oh my god, I, I I did panic for a slight second. We're not gonna attach the third single strike energy to anything because I don't want to uh, put damage on this Umbreon, right? They can still knock it out if I put with the power tablet and a vitality band. We get another urn. Do we get our last single strike energy? We do not, but the the... The research and the urn is really clutch there. So that's really nice. We, we, and we can't throw down another Crobat. We can't throw down another Umbreon. Because they can just go ahead and knock it out with the boss and Technoblast. So. Unless they have another uh, Vitality Bend and the Power Tablet. And a Tool Scrapper. They can't knock out my Umbreon VMAX. And this will do 70, 90, 180. Uh, how many single strike energies in the... So I can't knock them out with... I, I, actually, it doesn't matter because I have the energy on to Umbreon. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be... Again, they have to get the Tool Scrapper, the Vitality Band, and the Power Tablet, and the Boss's Orders to bring up the Umbreon to take game right here. Because I have the urn in hand. If they Marnied, which Mew generally doesn't have a Marnie. I think I've seen one list that ran a Marnie just as like a surprise kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure Morpeko here is going to give us the win. The 100 damage didn't really make much of a difference using the mean look. Because Umbreon will one-shot it regardless of if it has any damage. And then now they just go for the Cross Fusion Strike. They go with Psychic Leap. They're going to give me the Meloetta. Because I will not win with the Meloetta. So... We're going to do everything we can to not... Do we have a boss? We have one boss in deck. We only run one boss. Our Puka Mukyu is prized as well. Um, there's really nothing I can do, huh? I don't, I can't. Ever, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. The Psychic Leap was a good move. 
So we'll earn. We got the two. We right. This deck only runs one boss. Uh, so we're gonna Marnie try to reduce their hand size. Watch, I I draw the boss off this Marnie. I don't, but I drew two of my. Come on. What are the odds of that? I kind of have no choice here because I drew into the other single strike energy. I can't even retreat and attack with the Hound Doom. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter. Watch, we get our Pukamuko there. Yep, there it is. So that could have helped. Probably not because we saw our top cards off the Marnie. So if they need an energy, a VMAX, please don't hit the heads on this cram. Come on. Bruh. Of there's the Elisa Sparkle. Uh, no, okay. So they just win. They just win because they hit both of their Cramomatic heads. They use VMAX. They have the energy. Or they get the... That's so stupid. It does the exact amount that they need. 210. So stupid. I can't stand Mew. The deck is... It's, it needs to be changed. It just does. Let's try one more game. Uh, see, this is one of those things that, like, I, the Puka Muka didn't do anything. Uh, we did prize it, unfortunately. Our opponent went first. They got everything they needed. Flipped heads on Kramer Maddox. I mean... We'll throw down the boss. Uh, not the... <laughs> we'll throw down the Urshifu. I don't like starting urns because I generally don't want them to my opening hand. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll... Quick ball away, a Marnie. We have a Crobat. We got our energies. We got our two bosses. We must have discarded a boss early in the game. I think we did for the quick ball last game. Uh, yeah, we'll get the Hound Door. It's pretty important. Go ahead and get another Hound Door. And we'll pass. We don't need to really draw anything else because we're still threatening an attack next turn. Since we have the two Hound Doors and an Urshifu, an energy would have been nice, but I want to know what we're playing against before I decide if I want a VMAX or not. Looks like we're playing against an Eternatus deck. Eternatus is the only thing that uses Tower of Darkness and is a dark type, unless we're playing like Slow King, I guess. That could be a thing. But I have seen Eternatus decks use... Uh, Tower of Darkness before and considering the number of dark types that they have I'm willing to bet that it's going to be an Eternatus but they don't want to play the Eternatus because it is weak to fighting even though I will one shot an Umbreon and they're going to boss they're going to mean look so I can't retreat All right, we're gonna get rid of the VMAX. We'll go another Urshifu. We're gonna mar, I don't wanna Marnie them. I really don't. I would really love to draw into a switch. We don't. Now we just need an air balloon. Closes for now. Um, the odds of me drawing in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of two of my urns, which I really don't want to do. Of course, I do. <laughs> wow, 
This is so... Uh, these draws are crazy bad. This is... An, I, it's, I don't know what the deal is, but... Okay. Uh, they're not going to be able to hit me with anything more than a mean look this turn. Uh, they do have the cr the quick ball for the crowbat. I shouldn't be surprised that you usually run for for crowbat. So maybe Marnie would have been the better play. I just can't believe we drew into two more single strike energies. Absurd. There's the Eternus. We only and we only run one. Uh, VMAX. So we're kind of living on the edge here. They do Marnie us, which is very considerate of, of them. Uh, our hand was not particularly good. I would really like to have bossed up that Eternatus uh, so they can't VMAX. But maybe with the Pukamuku. They got a great ball. They can only use one Crobat ability per turn. So they probably won't look for a, another Crobat. Yep. Well, and they get the VMAX. They can't use the VMAX this turn. So if I Marnie, they, they do lose it. I don't know. The, our start was not particularly... I mean, we had the two Hound Doors, but they're just going to keep mean look stalling me. Well, Evo Incense. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Get the air balloon, it doesn't really help us. We can't retreat. Uh, I'm taking a chance here, right? This is like a pretty big thing I'm doing. We do get the switch, which is very nice. We can at least take two prizes. Umbreon, not super helpful. And Houndoom, also not very helpful at the moment. And we're already down two urns. And a single strike. So all of our single strike energies are in play. So this is really, really bad. Um, man, that's like not good at all. Not good at all. But if we get one of our urns, we will be able to take the knockout. And they can see it. I guess they just didn't have the Pokemon to do the damage. Uh, they might not have realized that. I mean, our hand was huge. I don't know what happened, but I'll take the win. So there you go, a different take on a single strike deck. I don't particularly know this deck super well. Um, it worked for, for Patricia and it, didn't, it worked okay for me. I, I'm gonna stick with the list that I've been using. I just, I know it better. And I think it, it has that explosiveness to it with the battle VIP passes that you just don't have. I mean, you can do it with the level balls, but I don't know. Something it just didn't feel right to me. But hey, everyone's different, and that's why these different decks exist, and that's why we try them out. And you should try it out too. Just because I wasn't a fan doesn't mean you won't be. Uh, this deck is not bad by any means. It's like I said, it's just not what I'm used to. It's not what I like to play, and that's perfectly okay. Everyone's allowed to have their preferences and use the things that make them happy. But that's gonna do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Found this a little informative. If you did, like I said, subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff, and uh, I will see you next time and i guess also enjoy this new end screen because it's new and yeah why not